and our teacher is very <laughs> dedicated oh, and is a beautiful teacher and I learned a lot from her. When I joined this class, I didn't know how to hold the brush even. She taught me everything and I'm very happy with my work. I, I was amazed how quickly we went from just saying we might be able to write our memoirs to actually on myself actually putting it down and doing it. So many times you go into a class and everybody is 20, 30 years old and you feel really out of place. Well, here I said, gee, I'm living my colleagues here. And some people that uh, I can relate to, they can relate to me, we can talk with them. It opened up trap doors in my head, memories that I had suppressed. The journey, the journey, the journey is long. The journey, the journey, the journey is long. Um, this is my oncologist. And then I had chemotherapy, so I, I put that there. And when I was on chemo, I had trouble eating. And my appetite wasn't so good. So when they served bagel, the bagel seemed enormous. So I decided to put that in there. It was much larger than life. So we could take liberties with our artwork, with uh, uh, perspective colors, um, all kinds of things to, to make it exciting and interesting. The journey, the journey, the journey is long. The journey, the journey, the journey is long. wanted to write my story for my um, grandkids and my sons because I was raised in Sweden and that 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 uh, life seems so far away from here but just the whole process and this meeting of other people doing things that I never knew or saw before so you're never too old to see and, and start and begin again. I'm really thankful for this opportunity. I used to sing on choirs, but it's been years. So this is really nice. <laughs> and it's given me the push to write some more, because I thought I was stuck when I first came here. This teach it made it so exciting and fun, you know. I couldn't wait not to come here on Wednesdays. I really couldn't. It's my highlight of my life. Come walk 